So what do you think? To me, it looks kind of like, well, a futuristic Batmobile, but it's really the Faraday Future 01, the FF01. And this is a new American car company that promises to change the way that we drive by introducing, oddly enough, a race car. Faraday Future says that that is the future of mobility, or at least that platform is the future of mobility. And that is coming up right now on the Fast Lane Car. As you look through the vehicle, through these tunnels, you'll see a highly functional, yet um, extremely uh, beautiful element we call aero tunnels. These aero tunnels channel air directly through the vehicle. This yields several performance benefits, like reducing drag, battery heat, and power consumption. These aero tunnels are something engineers and designers have wanted for decades. There's a main character line that runs through the vehicle. This is a crease that we are now calling the UFO line. That runs around the vehicle, and it's a subtle design cue that this car is not quite of this world. This UFO line will be a signature design element in all of our future products. Of course, we know everyone wants to see a race car in action, so let's take a look. What makes the FF01 unique? Well, it's built on a modular platform. Of course, car companies have been doing that for ages, but Faraday says that they can make this car into a sports car, a crossover, even a pickup truck by changing where the driver sits, where the electric motors are located, and of course, even the placement of the batteries. Is that enough to set the company apart? This intelligent, modular approach built on a flexible battery layout and multiple powertrain configurations means we have the potential to deliver an extremely diverse range of vehicles to market faster and more efficiently than previously thought possible. Imagine on this architecture you could design a luxury sedan, maybe a crossover, a compact car, an SUV, even a pickup truck. Virtually anything is possible. Tesla moves at breakneck speed compared to the rest of the industry. But let me tell you about an update of where we are today. Faraday Future was founded just 18 months ago. And in that short year and a half, we already have a staggering 750 employees globally. And as I mentioned earlier, we'll be breaking ground on our 3 million square foot factory in just a few weeks. Yes, ju just a few weeks time. And we will deliver our first production vehicle in only a couple of years' time. The question that I suppose we have to ask ourselves is, is Faraday Future the new Fisker or the new Tesla? And what I mean by that is, will the car company thrive or will it be shattered on the boulders of the American car industry? Of course, time will tell. As always, this is Roman reporting for the Fast Lane Car. Check out tflcar.com for more news views and, of course, real-world reviews. And keep in mind, we'll be here at CES all week, bringing you the latest in autonomous and electric cars. See you next time. Ciao. This is obviously a brand spanking new Range Rover, but there are two things that make it unique. Now, for those of you who know your Range Rovers, you will probably tell just by looking at it that it is a Range Rover Sport. But what is the other thing that makes it unique?